Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. The Emirates are washed with red and white, a sea of Arsenal, just as you would anticipate. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained. But if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. The action has already started. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Casemiro. He gives them some real defensive steel in the middle of the park, Peter. What he's particularly good at is nipping opposition attacks in the bud and preventing them from getting any real momentum going. He's also a bit of a shooting threat from long range too, so opposing defences will have to be aware of that, and very much so. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Well, Red, he sorted that out. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Gets it upfield. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Gabriel Jesus. And that's surely a foul free kick. And so we have the first set piece of the game. And he's going to Rex. Decent hit from there. <laughs> well played, he saw that coming. Oh, that's a foul, three kicks been given. Rafael Varane. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Rice. Good ball. Look, and they've been caught out here. Could be thinking about a shot here. And the shot! Sure, it's good distance on it. His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position and it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business now. So we have our breakthrough. Still a fragile lead though, they can't afford to sit on this. It's Rashford. Bruno Fernandes! Oh, fine 
stop from the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. The goal kick. Yes, the referee concurs. Rice. And we hit half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The we did indeed come in the first half. Has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Arsenal, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Diogo Dallo is fouled. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Just brushed off the ball there. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Now a chance to break. Has a pop! Rashford. Maguire. Casemiro. Rashford with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. He just stood firm. Bruno Fernandes. Out to the right. Diogo Dallo. Diogo Dallo goes on an adventurous foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. He does seem to be in considerable discomfort. We hope it's nothing serious. generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, I'm trying to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. Maguire... Oh, real danger here! Oh, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Arsenal got their goal at the end of the first half, and the score is 1-0. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Saka, who does have an assist to his name. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage.
Diogo Dallo up towards the front line. Oh, that is asking for... And the finish! Should have equalised. I think he rushed that. He had a bit more time than he realised. He could so easily have equalised there. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he can feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Gabriel Jesus hits one! And yes, it's there! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Simplicity itself. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Arsenal could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, some fans are already on their way out, so that to me says everything, Peter. Maguire. Casemiro, Rafael Varane, Varane goes looking, Bruno Fernandes, and the referee brings it to a close. Arsenal is victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve, they were simply a better team. So Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions, and it paid off. For me, they were persistent and ruthless.